Imagine that you are the best graduating student in your secondary school. You read, you passed, you impressed your teachers, your parents. Everybody was like, whoa! They are going to come in with first class when you get to the university. You got to the university. Your pattern was beautiful. Straight A's, good B's. Then your part two. Hmm. You have started like having friends. You have started networking, relating with people. That's good. That's beautiful. What if you get distracted? What if you... The friends you have at that time are not the right friends for you. What if your CGPA starts getting down? <laughs> Will you be happy? I tell you, you have to be chattered. I tell you. Like, you will cry. Now, what are you going to do? Pick up that book and read. Know why you have bad friends. Or, eradicate your friends who are draining you down. And relate with new set of people. Now, let me tell you a story. There was this course at Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU in Nigeria, called LIB. This is a mandatory course for a part one student, and it's going to run through from your first semester and your second semester. It's actually your second semester you're going to write your exams, and it's a zero unit course. It does not add to your CGPA, but that course can make you not to graduate. But it doesn't add up to your CGPA. So, when students get to the university and they're like, ah, that course is not going to get to your CGPA and stuff like that, it's a zero unit course, people tend to not read it. I tell you, you see that course? People get carried over. And I'm sure in the history of OAU, that LIB have made them not to graduate. I was actually a member of that association. Like, I didn't really take the course as anything. I got attended the classes, test once a week. I attended test, went for attendance. Like, I was up to date with everything. PDF, I was up to date. For real. But when you come to the exam, second semester, I called my friend, Rosalind. I said, Rosalind, where are you? She said that she's in the library. I was like, doing what? But today is a library. I said, I today is a library. So, it's objective now. Like, what is it? She was like, I should come. So, I came upstairs. She was like, I saw the way she was reading for LIB. And I was like, mad. Why are you reading? That is a zero unit code. Get there. And this, this is the thing about objective. Objective questions look so simple in our head. But are the questions that can make us feel easily. I tell you. Like, okay, you say, okay, when I just, I just pick one answer and that is it. You don't know the answer you're picking. For real. And past four students were carrying their courses. And I'm still, I'm still repeating it that in the history of OAU, even though I've not verified that fact, but I'm saying that that LIB have made some people, or a few persons, not to graduate. And they can carry the course for real. So she was like, I should read my first semester work because we didn't write it for first semester. I should read my first semester work and go through it because it was like maybe an hour or two hours close to the exam and leave the second semester since we just wrapped up second semester classes. And I did. I think that I was with her, so her energy, I was just being initiated with her energy immediately. I started reading for the first semester work and I finished it. I got to the exam hall and literally everything, literally everything that I read for my first semester, not seeing me for my second semester, all came out. And I came out with a good result. I got a B. <laughs> I got a B and she got an A. Like I was very winning course. And since today I'm still telling her that Muslim, it is not because of you. Huh? I don't think I would have gotten that course. Or maybe I would have gotten a D. Or if my guesses were right, maybe a C. The reason I'm telling you this story that the importance of having good friends, even though it's a friend, at that time, Rosalind was my closest impactful friend. It's 
not that I don't have other friends that impact it though, but they're kind of seasonal. But Rosalind has stayed with me through thick and thin. Now I have a bad thing and I'm going to perform and I have so many friends which are very impactive, success, events, like good girls, mostly they're girls. Good girls that are very impactful, and I know them, and I know the capabilities, and I know how to learn, gain, improve. I know what to get my ginger for. Now, imagine that I don't have quality friends. Imagine that I don't have friends who read, friends who are studying, friends who struggle to pass. Imagine I don't have that. And I'm with my book all day. And that mentality I had for LID course, I used it to enter the exam hall. Or I don't have any friends at all. I just want to stay on my own that I can do it by myself. So, baby, when it comes to the university, please mingle. I'm telling you the truth. Mingle, mingle, mingle with people. Because update today we go with people because you go lost so you go lost i'm telling the truth i'm telling the real truth because there are some people in the exams like if you have good friends you're in the exam hall like this are calling you out where are you are you are not sitting in the class where are you are you sitting and so like if you're not sitting together my friends are just know that we reach but when it comes to the exam you stay in the front like we go to the front and sit down and we'll not talk until we are done have you finished? Until we are done. So having good friends is very important. Like friends will call you. Where are you? Because I think you'll be doing overnight and you're sleep off. And time has passed. Nobody's going to call you. Because why? You don't have friends. Or you don't have good friends. So it's not about having friends. It's about having quality good friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, <laughs> like, share, meditate on this, comment for real because I don't know how you're going to move. Because God, God is our best friend, like Jesus Christ is our best friend, but He uses people, He uses people to speak to us, He uses people to connect with us, He uses people to improve. So, what are you praying for? Like, God, send good friends. Send good friends, send people who boost me. So, thank you.